this is not where I left off. Okay. I guess we'll just have to work with it. Hello everyone and welcome back to a Let's Play of Root of Evil the Tailor with your host Invalid. Um, where we last left off, we were in the room across the building. Go around through the kitchen and then there's the space with the goat head or whatever that is, the ram. Um, that went demonic. We learned some more about the former inhabitants of this house. The smiths. And that the mother was having some traumas, some problems, after their firstborn died. Uh, we ended off in the other room, but for some reason we're back here, so I guess we're just going to go through this open door. Well, actually, let me check around first, make sure that there's nothing else to see. That's still barred off. The furniture's still up there. Oh, and I missed this symbol. There it is. Found a hidden symbol. So, just in, in brief, the last three, the last two episodes were done in one recording session. It seems like, so this is an entirely new recording session. It seems like it resets all of the hidden symbols. from playthrough to playthrough. And I don't think they serve any... any ulterior function. Can't open it. Considering that um, after backing out of the game, they unlocked Steve achievements. Not kidding. That's all they were. So, uh, I guess I'll go for them when I see them, but otherwise I'm not really going to be paying too much attention to those. I guess this is our only way through, is this... Go up high, high, high. Why can't I open that? You, uh, you look like you're bugging out a little bit over there. That's the yarn from... Whoa, hi. Don't fuck hi. Uh, do I need to call an ambulance? No. Okay, um, I remember that this game was intimidating, but I forgot just how bad it was. Doesn't help that I only have one lit candle, and that's my only light source aside from my second monitor. Uh, can I go in this time? No, no corpses? No screaming babies? None? Get in the ceiling? Not really. Okay. Oh. What? Wait. It's kind of a big toilet, isn't it? What the fuck is that? O hyphen... Something? No idea what that's supposed to be. Oh, cool. That's a neat little cast iron tub. You don't see those much these days. 310. 
What? Oop. Kitty cat. Okay. Knowing that those symbols aren't there to hurt me at all? This sounds actually kind of reassuring. But this toilet stinks. I'm just realizing there's a very slight film grain on the entire thing. Interesting. Uh, just very subtle, but it's there. Very subtle. Okay. So 310. Oh, but. It's <laughs> a marking behind me. That's what that is. So 310. What's this zero? Or is that a lock? Yeah, that's that might be a lock opening. That's my that might actually be what that is. Okay, so three one zero. I do not remember what that would be for. Okay, that's already open. I'm going to refresh a little bit. It's been a while since I played this. Oh, this thing. That didn't quite cut it. So it's not 310. What is it then? Hmm. Minus what? Wait, no, that's not a zero. That's 31 degrees, isn't it? That zero is way too small. That's a degree symbol. 31 degrees. Yeah, this is already done. 31 degrees for what? It's an old iron. We can't get through there, right? No. supposed to be looking at here. 31 degrees. Well then. Alright, well, we can try a couple other things. Starting with 013, see if that does anything. No, that didn't do it. Alright. 031? No, that didn't do it either. I'm trying to think, what's 31 degrees... I'm totally overthinking this, but what's 31 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? The calculator. Thirty-one times one point eight. One point eight plus no equals plus thirty-two. Eighty-seven point eight. Didn't seem right, but worth a try, I suppose. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> okay, well it was a shot in the dark, anyway. 
Also, that must be paint, because if it's actually blood, I expect it to be a lot darker. And they also have no reflection. That's a little weird. Our paranormal investigator is a vampire. Any obvious clues elsewhere in the environment? It has to be the key for that puzzle, but... 31 degrees, could that be an angle? Well, that's mildly frustrating. I'll see if I can figure this out and be right back. Okay, so it's a little less involved than what I was thinking of. It's actually pretty simple, but um, it's one of those shape combinations, actually. So if you get this at the right angle, there we go. We get the numbers 848. That is probably the combination. It's kind of funny, my, my Celsius guess wasn't too far off. I got 8 and 8 there, but it's a 4 instead of a 7. Unless I did my math wrong, but you know. There we are. Sweet. Can I open? Or d Can I open? It didn't give the indication that I could interact with it. So I clicked on it, expecting nothing to happen. Uh, okay, vinyl disc. Alright, let's give it a roll. Oh, this theme. Alright. When I saw my newborn baby, I was shocked. It had a deformed face. It looked truly horrible. And then a few hours later, it died. My wife was unconscious from exhaustion when the baby died. And when she woke up, I did not know what to say to her. So was that the first baby? Or was that, um... Shit, what was her name? Kate, I think? That must have been the first baby, then. Okay. Well. Nothing? Oh, nothing. Alright, cool. Anybody? Oh yeah, the candles got lit, I forgot. Oh yeah, and you're still here. Alright, that was the wind. I think. I do not like that sound. Hey, Mr. Crow, do you know what that scratching is? I really don't like that creaking. Okay. We'll just, uh... Yeah, I gotta go through all the symbols again. Ugh. That's okay, I guess. Can I do anything with this? No? Alright, fine. Call again, please. Thank you. Okay, and this is still missing its piece. Ugh, I hate that sound. The one person that developed this really knew what they were doing with the sounds. That's... Ugh. I am on... You weren't there before. I am on edge. Got an armorial. Boar's head is still there. With all of the flies. That old fish is still there. Well, I guess that is that, huh? And bring that there. 
So we have the missing piece. Do we have to slide things around here at all, or...? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll click and drag, see what happens. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, we can totally swap things. Can we swap here? We can. Okay. Huh. So I, I guess we're trying to get to here? What? Looking at that is making my brain hurt. I am not sure what to make of that. Let's take a further look and see if anything else pops up, since this game seems to like giving the answers. Unless for once it's actually requiring me to think. Which may very well be the case. That's probably the key that... That's probably where that key goes to. The newspaper... Got any ideas, Mr. Crow? Because I sure as hell don't. I don't even know where to begin with this. Let's see. Sun... Oops, not what I meant to do. Okay, sun goes on the bottom here, I think. Hmm. Swap those. Swap those. Okay, yeah, there is a letter there is a color combination here. Okay. Um swapping those doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. Wait, there's another piece right here. Oh, hell. So somehow we have to match the pieces to get this image. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so we got that one. Um, so red block there, solid blue. Yeah, so that gets that. Then we have the frog. Hey, I got it! Why is there a dead rat in here? Uh... Okay... She made a toy out of a rat? My wife nearly... Where's Kitty Cat? She kept screaming that she wanted her baby back. Oh. She killed rats, stuffed them with cotton, and called them toys for the baby in heaven. And she stabbed she the cat. She killed and stuffed her own beloved cat. For the first time, I found myself actually scared of her. The doctor said she was suffering from severe psychological trauma and psychosis. This is more than from just a baby dying, though. Like, Jesus. So that's it. I can't do anything else. It it was it was for a stuffed rat reveal. Mm. Okay. I I guess I'll move on now. Shall sure be coming back to that later. Is open. It is. Okay. Okay, right, we opened this up after something smashed it last time. Jesus. I think we're done in here, but I'm not totally sure. No, we're not. We got a four-digit combo here. Alright. Okay, next thing. After we finish staring at some things. At some random symbols. You know, that's actually really weird. It seems like some of the symbols disappeared and other ones stayed. And it's very confusing. Okay, it was that door. Used to it at this point. Okay, we already opened up what was in there, and I don't even remember what that gave us. Hi. You're still around, huh? Still spooking anybody that comes in here? Probably need power for this. Actually, what we need is a coin. <laughs> so we're probably going to get a coin at some point. We're going to get a four-digit code. I'm talking so I don't get so... <sighs> nervous. Wh okay. Oh! Okay then. That's why that was blank. Alright. Uh, was all that blood there before? No, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't there before. Okay. Okay. Alright, fire's still going. He's still got the creepy red eyes. No, your eyes actually seem normal now. I think. I can't really tell. <laughs> Maybe that's for the better. I 
Okay. Okay, in we go. Why are we going back in here? There must be something to cut, I'm just not sure what. Oh, there's an X on the 12th. Oh dear. B day? Yoga, gym, test, cinema. I can't get to the back of the desk. Oh boy. Okay, so there's something we need to interact with. Something to cut. There's a creepy doll that always follows you. Probably isn't going to work, but yeah, I don't think so. It's got a ruined eye. It's always open. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a pretty mouth to swallow you whole. Any numbers in the chest? No? Alright. So we have scissors. We need to cut something. What we need to cut, I have no idea. Cool. I thought those rabbits were bad. Now they seem pretty tame. <laughs> Considering... <laughs> This game just keeps amping it up. Alright, well. Anything else I can interact with around here? Can't open that at all. What? Why are you on? Don't answer that. Whoa. Eight eight eight. Okay, so shoot, where's a writing thingy? Need something to write with and something to write on. Here we go. Okay, pencil. Gotcha. This doesn't have anything written on the back, does it? No, it's blank. Okay, cool. Okay. So eight. Eight, eight, eight. That's an E. So I'm guessing it's a subtractive sort of thing. Then that. And then an E without the top. Okay. So if we make a bunch of eights, and then we erase this, and that, what is that? That's a two. Okay, so two. Seven. This is not in order, by the way. I'm just. That's a four. One? So one, four, two, seven? Is that the key to code to the chest? Ooh. Candles are still here. Good. Okay, let's go. It's awfully bright outside for... What time is it? Yeah. 
sometime after 1.30. So it should still be dark, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see, one... Four... Oh shit, I passed one. One, four, two, seven. That worked. Nice. What the hell? <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Screw you. Oh, you have a coin. You have a coin on your eye. Give me that. Give me your eyeball. Why do you have smudges on... I'm not even gonna ask. What the fuck? Okay, so now we can play the arcade. Which is this... No, this way. Right here. Okay, where's the coin? Right here. Seven, 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 get item, huh? Goes so fast, I can't see what comes before the seven. Okay, it's watermelon. Damn it. Oh, shoot. No. Oh. I I guess I won. Kind of. Mm mm. Mm mm. Why are we doing this? No spooks yet. All right, I'm just gonna go then. Golden key, what would the golden key be for? There's something locked in this room, if I remember correctly. Anybody? Okay, that's that. Oh, the way this, um... Okay, it's not done. The way this flashlight works and illuminates everything just is tripping me up. I got it. What is this? A stethoscope? Okay. Oh, it's going to do it for me. Oh, I need to click it when it's done. Gotcha. That's just mean, all right? Okay, so 40. Oop, click too early. What kind of mini game is this for a puzzle? Ugh. Oh, I clicked too early. God damn it.
close enough, I guess. I'll take it. What the balls? Books, golden, and piano keys? I got a piano keys. Okay. Yeah, definitely broken English. That's alright, though. No El Tupacabra? No? Your eyes are normal now? Good. Keep it that way. Is this this? I don't know if I saw this symbol before. I think I did. Considering that they reset, I don't know that I'm going to be bothering to get all of them. But... Well. Okay, so I'm at the piano. Inconsistent about whether or not you can interact with something. That's kind of annoying. There we go. Chill the fuck out, okay? Aren't you happy that I played it right? The first try? Didn't have to take a ruler to my hands or anything? Ugh. People sometimes can never be satisfied. Alright. Now. This was partially a jar. Is this going to stay open? Nope. Never mind. Oh, my crap. So I think this is done. Stuck on the door. Can I go up here at all? No, that's still blocked off. Hmm. I think the novelty might be wearing off a little bit. I'm actually having to use my brain. What is this? Okay. No, can't go through there. Odd. Okay. Hi. Just taking your toy out for a stroll? That's cool. What? What? Why? What? Why is my vision going all weird? The house was dark and cold. My wife was standing in the hallway holding a knife. She looked at me with a scary smile on her face. She lunged and everything turned dark. Maybe she wanted to stuff me with cotton and send me to heaven too. That's one way to look at it, I guess. That's coming from the basement, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Oh, is that a swing chair? It totally is. I just realized there's a baby doll on it. Oh, fuck you. Is baby still there? Nope. Okay, that... Alright. See the spiders? I hope you find the home you're looking for. Where are you even coming from? Coming from up there. Okay. Lovely. Still can't go up there. Can't do anything with that. I don't 
don't think anything else is happening there. I like this music. That door's open. Kind of figured that would close. Bummer. Oh, you're out. When did that happen? Huh? What are you doing? What is... Canned food? Someone opened it. You hungry? I can grab you a bowl if you're hungry. Uh... Well, actually, you could probably just peck it right out of the can, huh? Can't take the... Oh! I see! So you... are happy to go to the canned food as long as I'm not nearby. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Can't do anything with it. Okay. Okay, somehow I have to catch the crow. Why is the sound coming from there? The crow's over there. What is a metal hook? Is that for? Is that so I can reach it? No, it doesn't work there. All right. Uh, can I use it here? Ah! Lock picking. Huh? Oh hell! Oh, bloody hell. Ugh. I have no idea. <laughs> oh. No, that's not it. I'm trying to look for hints and answers. Yes, yes, I know. Hmm? All right, well. Oh, the stays. Oh, it's the key. Duh. Duh, duh, duh. All right, what do we got here? So that looks like furthest, furthest. La, 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 la. All right. Whoopsie. So there's four on that one. So that goes all the way down. There we go. Cool. I like that. What do we got here? The weights. Oh, bloody. Bloody Nora. Is that a button? I'm guessing that is. What is this? Pork. Oh, we gotta weigh the boar head. Gotcha. Okay. So we put those there, and then. Whoop. Aha! That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Okay. So that's going to be too much, right? Yes. That's too much as well. No, that doesn't work.
That's 170. Weird. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so what's the total of these? 120... 120... 390... No, that's 290. Uh, 340... 340... 415. Okay. Why would they be leaving a boar's head out as the passcode to this thing? That... Weird. A bottle of poison? No! No! No, you did not. You did not just make me have to poison this damn crow. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. That does not look right. Ugh. Ugh. That, no. No. No, 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 no. No. I'm not happy right now. This better be fucking worth it. I had to poison a bird. Where's this damn key? Doors locked? What? That's weird. Locked is a new one. Usually it's jammed or I can't get through. Locked? Can't open the door. Yeah. What the fuck, though? Okay. So we have another key. What can we use said key on? Because this one's unlocked already. That's that. You really can't get through here? I can't use the key on it because it, I have to zoom in to be able to use something. So where can I use this key then? Because we opened that up. I don't think there's anything else around here. That's locked. Oof, this music's good, though. Okay, I'm missing something, clearly. Don't remember that being there before. Why do we have to unlock that? That's just all sorts of weird. Oh. Uh. Are you baby doll in rocking chair? Are you stuffed baby in rocking chair? Alright, no turning back now. The door's closed behind me. Okay. No oh, foot. Okay. Okay. Why am I being dragged along the ground? Uh. Am I dead?
No, I just got dumped. Okay, I'm in the basement now. Great. When I woke up, I realized that I was trapped in the basement. My wife's face had the same expression of bore when our child had died. Despite everything, I really did not expect that she would attack me. But then, everything became clear when I read her diary. Is that so? Sometimes, I would find strange injuries on myself. I could not remember what had happened to me. The doctor said I was suffering from depression and memory loss. Every morning when I woke up, the whole world seemed strange. I would forget what happened the day before. The only thing that was consistent from day to day was the baby, continuing to grow inside of me. I began to write a diary. I wanted to record everything that happened to me. I did not want to forget. Things became more complicated when my husband brought home a girl and introduced her as the new maid. Her name was Mary. She was a beautiful girl, but I had a bad feeling when I looked into her eyes. Every day, my husband would introduce Mary to me because he knew I would have forgotten the day before. The introduction scene repeated day after day. But what he didn't know was that I was recording every day in my journal. I knew more than he thought. I started to feel like my husband and Mary were lying to me about something. And then I discovered what they were trying to hide. My husband was having an affair with Mary. I was afraid of that. They were taking advantage of my condition to sneak around with each other behind my back. It made me very sad. It broke my heart. My only reason for living was my unborn child. Mary had been living with us for eight months. As I watched her and my husband hide their relationship, I tried to hide my emotions. I could never have imagined how sinister Mary really was until the day she poisoned my food. What? It caused me severe abdominal pain. It didn't kill me, but it killed my son. Those were the most miserable days of my life. I needed revenge. I wanted her to go through the pain of losing a child. Just like Just I did. I was, I was going, going to make them all pay for the pain, pain that they had caused me. Okay. After waiting for so long for the end of Mary's pregnancy, the moment finally came. I used a knife to slit her belly and get the baby out. It was a girl. The baby looked at me and cried. In that moment, something touched my heart. I decided to let the little girl live, but my husband and Mary were going to pay for what they did. I burned them. Their two corpses were charred. The police could not identify their faces and believed that it was a murder-suicide, that I had killed my husband and myself. They didn't know about Mary's presence in the house. After that, they took the baby away. This is the last page I wrote. I didn't want to see the diary anymore. It brings back my painful memories. But I will wait for the child to come back. Rachel's not dead. Rachel was never dead. Humans have three roots of evil referred to as the three poisons in Buddhism. Great hatred, greed, hatred, and ignorance. These three poisons reflect the three characters in the game. 
Okay. Gree was Mary, Ignorance was the dude, and Rachel was... Okay, then. The project was done by only one person, so the game will inevitably have some small errors. Hope you can empathize with suggestions. If you like this, please leave a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Okay, then. Press space to back menu. <laughs> Wow. So that was a thing. Okay. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. All right. There's a lot to unpack there. So you have the message about the three characters, and then Buddhism and the poisons. But what about... the character we played as? There's there's a lot of loose ends, and loose... Just, there's a lot of looseness in that one. And in some ways it plays really well, in some ways not so great. Like, the character we played as, I get it, it's to see through is to go through the house, see all the haunts and spooks and everything, so we actually have a story to play, so we actually have a game to play. But... First off... Why did we need a journal if we only put two entries in it? Second, I felt like there was not near enough exploration of the house, but... It's the first game, so, I mean... Considering what it was, it was really good. Uh, with the with the three characters. Oh man. So, what was really going on in that story? Because, from what I remember... Um, what I remember Rachel saying, the, the woman who murdered the husband and Mary... From what I remember her saying... Mary got pregnant, right? And then... Rachel lost her firstborn... And shit started happening. But according to James... Was it James or John? Whoever the husband was. She got pregnant again. Mary didn't get pregnant. Rachel got pregnant a second time. And throughout that, she started acting really strangely. The mental illness and everything. And she was forgetting things. So... Oof. Wow, there's a lot to unpack there. So which story is it, really? Because if that's what Rachel sees, of course she's gonna kill Mary, of course she's gonna kill her husband. Both of, both of them said Mary was brought into the house. Both of them said that. As a maid. But was Mary actually having an affair with James, or was Rachel just mad? So it doesn't answer the question at all whose child Kate really... whose child Kate really is. And I don't know if some of that got lost in translation, or if it was specifically set up to be like, okay, which story do you go with?
And with all the stuff that happens in this one... I'm really tempted to think... Oh, it's so, it's so difficult though. Like, did Rachel die? Or is she actually alive? She must be alive if she still... If she put in that page, I burned Mary and... Um, what's his face? Oof. Yeah, this... Hmm. This game need This game needed some work, but... For what it is, it's good. It's got an interesting, compelling story. Kind of saw everything coming. Except for the end, where it was Mary being pissed off and dealing with her mental illness, rather than... Um... Like, some possession or something, considering everything that was going on. So did Rachel set all of that up, or what? There's a lot left to be desired on the story front, I think. But scare-wise, and visually, and sound-wise, this game was intense. It was very good. I just think that the story needs a little work. Um, and partly, it doesn't help that I don't remember specifically what I did in the first three videos. First two, whatever. But, ultimately it comes down to two different stories. And which one do we believe? Do I want to continue save game? No. Alright, and that's all of that. Ooh! But I think that's gonna... This was a lot shorter than I was expecting. I was expecting to go through the whole house, but... That's okay, I guess. That is gonna do it for Root of Evil the Tailor. Um, I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are for this 2018 Halloween special that ended a little late. But yeah. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts and theories are. Um, if you know the what the intended story is, feel free to throw that out there. And I guess that'll do it. So as always, if you did enjoy this Let's Play, um, feel free to check the rest of my stuff out. I got horror games, I got Harry Potter, got all the all sorts of stuff. And I will see you in the next Let's Play. I'm just, I'm scrambled right now. I can't put sentences together. So anyway, that's going to do it for now. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye for now.